so guys in this video we are going to set up this uh, masm 32 bit uh, assembly environment for our programming in assembly language uh, this is the windows 32 bit assembly tutorials and we are going to use the windows os now uh, google search for this masm 32 download then you will get this website masm 32.com now click on this uh, link now you can see the uh, download page for this you can uh, download any uh, from any of this mirror and you will get the setup installer so it will be like a simple installer next 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 and ok so it will be installed so after installation you can go to c drive and masm32 and here this is the uh, installed folder and you can see go to the bin directory so these are the binaries so we need to add this path to our environment variables so let's copy this and right click on this PC, click on properties and click on advanced system settings and then environment variables and path edit and I have already added this one you go you need to click on new and add this one click on ok ok and ok now we can run these binaries from any command line path ok now the disadvantage of this masam32 bit uh, assembler is you need to put the uh, your source code file in the same partition as that of this installed uh, software you can see this is my c drive so you need to put this uh, your uh, scripts in this uh, c partition only ok now i am going to use this uh, visual studio code for this uh, tutorial and you can click on this extensions and you can install the uh, extension called x86 and x86 underscore 64 assembly and this uh, extension you can also install this one mass of microsoft macro assembler and it will uh, give you the syntax highlighting so okay let's uh, write the code for this uh, hello world program in the assembly first one is uh, we need to define some macros 386 so 386 is the processor compatibility mode you can also put the 486 586 uh, that is up to you and next one is we need to uh, define the model memory model the program is going to use and I want to say flat uh, flat memory model that is used by the windows and also we need to define the uh, procedure call that is a standard call you can also use the this call uh, but uh, this is a standard procedure standard call uh, the arguments will be passed from right to left and we need to specify some option option case map none so on defining this uh, this your program will be case uh, insensitive sorry case sensitive that means uh, small a variable is different than uh, capital A variable so these are the three macros that we need to include and then we need to include some uh, libraries and include files so first one is include if you go to this uh, directory of this uh, install location and you can see here include so if you go to the include folder you can see uh, there are ton of uh, include files and also if you go to the libraries you have these libraries so we need to include few of the include files and the libraries so we need to specify this uh, absolute part from masam uh, 32 and we want to say include and first thing is we need to include the uh, windows dot ink so because we are going to use the uh, windows api calls uh, for that we need to include this windows dot ink and also we need to uh, include kernel 32 dot ink so this uh, kernel 32 dot ink contains uh, some functions like std out and other functions you can use them to uh, in your program and another one is uh, some 32 and include I think it's masum32 uh, dot ink so let me just see this one yes masam32.ink ok 
also these are the include files this contains the functions and we need to include the library files because these include files will use the library files uh, for our uh, functions so let's say include lib include lib and i'm going to just uh, copy this one and paste it in here now we need to change this directory because libraries and that is in masm32 libraries so okay let's uh, go change this one lib and we need to change the extension to lib canna32.lib and in the same way just copy paste this one and we need to specify this masm32.ink dot lib okay sorry so now we have specified all our uh, include files and the libraries now we are going to use the two functions uh, those are std out to print anything out of the screen and the exit process to exit normally after execution of our code so we need to define the data section so this data section contains uh, our variables that can be used in a program let's say hello let's say uh, hello world and in the similar to this uh, linux assembly uh, we can say define byte so it will define each and byte of this string let's say hello and we need to specify this uh, ending one which is zero that is the string terminator uh, assembler on seeing this it will uh, define this as a one string okay now i think that's enough one variable now we need to write the uh, code or the dot text section and we can say uh, start label that is the starting point of our uh, program execution and then we need to say invoke std out std out and the parameter we need to pass is this hello world the address of this hello world you need you can say addr hello world so this invoke uh, is like a uh, macro or it can do much of the work without uh, pushing the things onto the stack and calling the uh, actual function so in linux assembly what we have done is we have pushed all the arguments onto the stack from the right to left and then we have called performed the system call uh, operation so that takes somewhat uh, lengthy code so all that code will be done by this uh, invokes uh, function so invoke std out and address hello world okay that will uh, output the hello world string and then we need to exit uh, safely so you can say invoke and exit process exit process and we can say uh, zero you can see the return value and now this is the end of our code we can say end start so this start is the label so I think uh, that's fine for this hello world program so we have declared the hello world variable and then we are uh, passing into this std out function so okay now looks like uh, so we are in the c masm32 and hello world dot asm now in the same path let's open this command prompt since we have included this uh, bin directory in our path we can just say ml uh, we can say c jd and cough so this will uh, create into the uh, common object file format that is in the object uh, format so hello world dot asm let's hit enter So it's saying cannot open file masm32. So the spelling mistake is wrong. Let's say masm. Now you can see the build has been completed. 
now this assembler has been uh, created the object file now we need to link that into an executable let's say link and then we need to uh, give one argument that is subsystem either console subsystem or the uh, windows subsystem so in the console uh, subsystem the program will run in a uh, command prompt uh, and in the windows uh, it will run in the uh, normal windows so uh, when you are doing the graphical user interface you need to uh, put this subsystem as a windows otherwise console is fine now we need to uh, say the hello world dot object file dot obj now you can see now uh, the linker has been uh, linked our object file and there will be a executable file that is hello world dot exe now we can say exe now if you hit enter you can see the hello world so that's all for this uh, tutorial the output of the hello world in the windows 32 bit assembly as a console application